Danielle Smith is the new leader of the United Conservative Party, winning on the final ballot with 54% of the vote. Travis Taves, who was Alberta Finance Minister under Jason Kenney, finished second. 84,000 party members voted across the province. If there's one thing I've learned about Albertans, is that we don't expect our leaders to be perfect, but we do expect them to stay humble, admit when they're wrong, and to learn from their mistakes. I love that about our province, and I'm grateful to have earned this second chance from you. I will never forget it, and I pledge to you tonight, I will not let you down. The new leader called on Conservatives to unite. Albertans want us to be unified. They want us to succeed. Albertans don't want to elect a socialist NDP government any more than they want to see the Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. She expressed her love for Canada and her hope for future generations. In closing tonight, I want to speak to our fellow Canadians. Albertans love Canada. It is our country, our home. All we want is to live, grow, and prosper in the manner that we choose. We can build the most innovative, entrepreneurial, and well-educated workforce in the developed world where students are taught to create and build and innovate rather than to conform, obey, and profess allegiance to failed and outdated ideologies. Two days later, Danielle Smith traveled to Medicine Hat, where she will run for a seat in the Alberta legislature. In a by election, she told reporters she wants to stand up for rural Alberta. The main, the main reason why I am so committed to running in a, a rural riding is I know that our rural ridings didn't feel like they had the strongest voice at the table during the last years of the COVID pandemic. And I hope this sends a signal, not only to the residents of Brooks Medicine Hat, but to the residents of all rural Alberta, that their voice will be heard, it will be prominent, and it will be respected. Danielle Smith becomes a new premier of Alberta. She is expected to name a new cabinet October 21st, just in time for the UCP's annual convention in Edmonton.